Good evening, agriculture classes. Today's little installment is going to be describing your final project on your SAE. The SAE has been your semester long project where you've set your goals, you've identified your skills, and kept track of your hours. Now you're going to identify and summarize that material into a nice little sheet of paper. On the website, there's a home page. So this will not be directly into each one of your class pages. This will be on the home page. There is a material that says SAE final report and then gives today the date that it is due on 12-12-14. That document has the directions that you need to utilize to get the most points out of your SAE. To do this, I'm going to walk you through them. So, pause the video and open up that document. And you would find that it says, Final SAE paper due December 12, 2014. I would like this printed and not shared. You can share it with me and I can look over it. I won't look over it if you keep sharing it and sharing it and sharing it, but if you get a good final draft you think you're happy with and you want to share it with me, I'll look over it if I have time and then give it some comments on it. It is due next Friday. We identified that this would be due next Friday about a month ago, so I hope this is pretty easy for the majority of you individuals. It should be no longer than one to two pages. I think you're going to probably have to punt that up into two pages because of the picture is going to take up too much space on your document. So you're going to have to, again, that's bolded and I even think it's underlined. Well, now it's underlined. You're going to remember that it needs to be one to two pages. So let's start it off. I've made kind of a example here. And so we're going to come closer and over there. Got it. What you're going to have at the top is the title. That title will be the name of your project in a large font up at the top. A lot of times you see posters with a large font up at the top because that's what's going to gain your attention. That should be the name of your SAE. Underneath that, you have subtitle. This would be what your proficiency award is that proficiency award of your project is in a smaller font underneath. So you're going to have a title that says Cotton Candy SAE. And then underneath it you would have, to have something dealing with ag production or food science, whichever one yours falls into. Next, you have the picture. The picture has two parts. One is the picture. Two is the description. So on the SAE paper due December 12th SAE final report document that is on the website, it gives you something there. And so if you ask questions over it, I think you don't even have to listen to my voice personally. You can just come to the video and see that it tells you exactly what you need to have. Clear picture of you doing the SAE project. You have to be identifiable doing the project. Try to you not make it so pixelated. So if you have those million dollar phones, awesome. But if your phone doesn't take a very good picture, not awesome. If you don't have a phone, use a camera. If you have trouble finding any way of doing a picture, come and talk to me individually and we will discuss on what you might be able to use instead of a picture. But that would be only if you have no I, no options of taking a digital picture so that you could put it onto the computer. And I believe we can get you an item there because I said this about a month ago. And so if you're just coming to me now and saying that I have nothing to take a picture with, I am pretty sure I'm not going to be very lenient on you because you are probably going to have a phone. You should have gotten a digital camera by now. Or... It, you just need to talk to me on an individual basis under, with the understanding that I'm not going to be very lenient with you because I told you you needed a picture a month ago. Underneath the picture, a little description of what the picture is. 
So you have a picture. I think it was Shelby Fritz asked me, can it be a selfie? Yeah, if it's a selfie because you have no friends or no family or no, and you're a troll and you can't get anybody else to take the picture of it, of you doing it, that's fine. As long as you are identifiable with your SAE project. Underneath that, we move to the next point. Goals. We've talked about goals a lot. I'm going to say about 50% of you guys have good smart goals. High five yourself. Just don't hit yourself in the head. With that good smart goals, you'll identify them here. And it should look something like this, where it has what I have there, where move my other hand. There, we got it. Goals. It says a title area that says goals. Then you'll list your three goals. They all should be smart, so if you've lost points because they're not smart, change them to be smart now so you get the full points. Identify if the goal was met, and then explain why. Some of you guys have two goals, some of you guys have three goals. Do that for each one of the goals. Then, and remember, sorry on the side point, if you didn't meet your goal, that's perfectly fine. You Goals are set not to meet, but to achieve, to try to achieve. That's a hard concept for a 16-year-old to understand because it's just like the concept of understanding that you can fail at things. You don't think you can fail. Goals are set so that you can achieve it because if it's not a, if you set something where you're definitely going to achieve, then it's not a goal. It's just going to be something you do. Moving on to the next one. Skills. With the skills, on the worksheet it says title this skills. Hints. Where's my finger? Where's my finger? There. Skills. It's a title. Provide an intro sentence and talk about the skills that you gained. Then, that skills will be a paragraph or so. I don't know what you want. I'm not going to give you an exact length of it, but it should be around a paragraph or two, depending on the skills. Hopefully, some of you guys, um, I know like Kane Johnson, the guy did a heck of a lot of stuff, so this would be a time where he gets to brag about how much cool things that he did. The last part is hours, and with hours, it's got a title, and it's got um, a, needing a paragraph that, okay, say hi. Hi. You wanted to be on TV. Say hi. Hi. Oh, you poor little thing. All right, so my as my son comes over to this to end it up, we have hours. With hours, it's going to be the same as the skills. You will have an intro sentence that then explains all the hours that you have. With those hours that you have, you will... Some of you guys have a lot more than others. Hey, and this just a second, Mitty. This will be a time where you can explain and brag about the stuff you, can, you did. That's what might get you into pushing the, the second page, which is fine. But try to keep it to one to two pages. And remember, it needs to be printed, not just shared with me. If you share it with me, I will look over it, but I won't um, look over it if you share it a thousand times. Just try to share it with me once and tell me that you have a final draft. Just a second, Mitty. That, then, is your final SAE paper. If you have questions, make sure you email me if you have to meet them over the weekend. Today I told you. Whales eat fish. Oh, fish. Whales eat fish. Yes, they do. I don't think anybody's going to say he deals with fish. I do fish, though. All right. Have a great day, and re-watch this over and over again until you can figure out um, what your SAE is.